We are the School of Electrical Engineering and Telecommunications, a powerhouse of innovation, transforming the fabric of our everyday reality. Imagine waking up in the morning and there is no power, there's no data communications at all, no devices. This is life without electrical engineering and telecommunications. Not a lot of people know what really goes behind electrical engineering. People just turn on the light and it lights up and it's there. We can connect people from Northern Hemisphere to Southern Hemisphere, have the conversation, meetings, without even thinking how to organise that. It's not so much the specific content, what you read in the textbooks, it's the way of thinking that you develop. Studying here kind of equips me to be able to navigate that. How to think about this problem that no one's ever thought about before. Innovation is really our lifeblood. We're almost not doing engineering unless we're innovating. You see it in the education curriculum and we see it in our school's research, which is driving the frontiers in every area of electrical engineering. We educate graduates from our school that uh, they can make an impact and they can ethically develop technology and give access to everyone. As a society, we are trying to move towards more sustainable technologies to make the Earth a better place. And I think electrical engineering plays a very key role. You can't just wake up tomorrow and turn off all the coal-fired power stations and hope that everything's going to be okay. There's a lot of engineering problems that need to be solved to allow us to make that transition. That's a way I want to create change and give back to UNSW. Outside in the industry, I hope to work in renewable energy and work with creating new technologies towards a more sustainable future. What I think is we have come a long way, but maybe more than that even what we can imagine now will be happening in the next 20 years. A few years ago we probably didn't envisage that now we would be working on electric aircraft for example. We didn't envisage that we'd be working on hydrogen storage, power conversion and things like that. In 10, even just 10 years or 20 years time, we could be working on things that we have no idea about now. <laughs>